Welcome everyone, Adam uh, the Woo here. Just checking the RV to make sure everything is secure because last night was interesting. Southern Georgia had some pretty nasty storms last night, but she weathered it like a champ. Welcome everyone, Adam uh, the Woo here. In fact, on more than one occasion, as I laid back there to slumber, last night I checked the Weather Channel's app on Twitter just to see how close in proximity tornadoes were to where I was and let me tell you, they were not far away. Terrifying. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Spoiler alert, I do not like tornadoes. It's the Daily Woo. Who does, honestly, except Bill Paxton? home. Those might be the former servant quarters maybe? Very beautiful. Look at these trees. Impressive. Most impressive. There's a bunch of geese out there grazing in the rain. Little raindrops falling on their heads. They don't seem to mind. The reason I drove back in here is because there was a rumor that something existed on the back of this property. And it is true. Oh, how I could have used you last night. Noah's Ark stanchion there behind the pine trees. As much rain fell from the sky, it would have come in quite handy. Quite handy indeed, Noah's Ark. How incredibly random that this is on the back property of this plantation. Oh, wow. This is the inside. There are artist renditions of the two by two animals all inside the Ark. And the artist's name is Clifton Shepherd from Palm Beach, Florida. And they've listed every single animal that's in here. Look at these little cute guys. What are you doing? Get your nose out of that hiney. There's even a couple of grasshoppers. Is that an animal or is it technically a bug? And I'm thinking that might be Noah with the dove, maybe? It's a pretty incredible pump house. It's very beautiful. I'm glad I drove back in here. It's awesome. As I was leaving the property, I just noticed there is a massive pet cemetery right here. Look at this. There are hundreds of grave markers. You can see them there above the leaves. Wow. Oh, even look over here. You can see some actual headstones as well. That's a lot of animals. Usually you'll see two or three spots where family pets are buried. This is really something you don't come across every day. Wow. That is a lot of trash over there. That's a... That's a lot of trash. And just to clarify, that was not on the property of that beautiful plantation. It's down the road a bit. I've seen a lot of fire trucks in my day, but this one is full on beast mode. Look at that thing. The tank on the back's for water. That is not what you normally would think of when you think of a fire engine. Is it used for something else, something different that I'm not putting my finger on? Oh no, it's a stampede. Keep your distance, cows. Keep your distance. 
Oh, whoo! There's a fence there. I got worried for a second. Thought you were charging the RV. This one's a twofer. The old Midway Grocery Coca-Cola sign there. And then down below, a sign that is unlegibly unreadable. I love both these things, and they just so happen to be in the same frame. Success. This antique store has constructed a memorial to D-Day. They also have a cross here and a Statue of Liberty. I don't think it's open for business anymore, but if you look closely through this window, you can faintly see the outline of a classic car. And next to that is an old horse-drawn buggy just sitting here behind this glass. And this, my friends, is what they call Georgia clay. It's everywhere out here. In fact, your feet sink down there. That's my footprint right there. That's an old 1980s U-Haul rental sign. I think they've adjusted their logo just a tad bit since those days. That's pretty cool. And I guess right over in here is where all the U-Hauls used to sit. Still got their Christmas lights up, dangling down. Really not that much higher than the top of Large Marge. Living in a town where the local movie theater is called the Zebulon, not a bad thing at all. They have Piggly Wiggly too. Whoa, that sign said they were selling hog jowls. I pulled off the side of the road because I happened to notice that there is an abandoned radio station AM 790 WGRA. Here's the old sign they would put promotional lettering across for events they were having. You can even see the rusted out screws there from where it used to hang. You really don't see those types of antennas too much anymore. And check this out down on the ground. An era of bygone past. Vinyl. Wow. Now I know they still make records, but these are ones they used to play inside there for everyone to hear. Every time I see one of these towers, I think of the Weird Al Yankovic movie, UHF. You don't want to cross this line, or at least back when it was operational, because radio frequency fields may exceed FCC rules for human exposure. There's the cord that went up inside the building. And look at these old satellite dishes. This one here has seen better days. It's now used pretty much as a impromptu planter by Mother Earth. You can see the thermostat. This is where the DJ would sit. There's some old computer stuff here. He would look out the window at the weather and see how cold it was. It is now 65 degrees here at WGRA AM. Lots of old files in there and of course right up there on the file cabinet, a bumper sticker. This antenna seems to have gotten mixed up in the dead foliage. They must spell things a little bit differently around here. Is that how you spell buses? Wouldn't it be crazy if on a whim I just traded the RV for this? Started cruising around in that thing? Wouldn't be so bad, right? Oh yes, yes, yes! It does exist! Climax, Georgia. Now there's not really a whole lot here, but there's something about this place that's very satisfying. There's the city hall, right there. Seeing that place didn't take long to finish. Man, I could use a cigarette. What are the odds that that really is a cell phone free vehicle? Does the employee have to leave theirs at work in a locker somewhere? What if they break down? Inquiring minds wanna know. Got a couple things I needed. This I think will come in very handy. An inverter that I can plug up front to charge my laptop, the drone batteries, other accessories while I drive, less of running the generator. For years now, I've been eating these American style pasta salads when I'm on the road, even back when I was sleeping in my van. And I also got some creamy spinach, some $2 chips. I love that for a snack. And Milo's famous sweet tea. From the Descendants? Let's see what happens. 
Oh yeah. I got to mention the second one in 2 days, an old Pepsi, not a Coke, an old Pepsi sign. This giant Indian head was personally carved by a man named Peter Toth. It was made out of one single tree. As part of the Trail of Whispering Giants, February 1973, as a gift to each of the 50 states to honor the Indians. From what I can tell by doing a little research online, the original one fell victim to rot. This is the secondary one, but I can't find any info about that on the placard. Either way, it's pretty freaking awesome. Look at this thing. And just down the road is something else very cool. Look at this silo, gigantic silo painted with a farmer and some cotton. Each one of those pieces of cotton is about half the size of me. It's very tall. And whatever they're doing on property there, whoo, stinks. In fact, the entire small downtown area is filled with a plethora of murals. I think that's supposed to be Clint Eastwood. This one probably signifies some of the events that have happened here, like the circus and then the courthouse and family members going off to serve in the military. Small town life. You gotta love it. And the name of the town is Call Quit. And this is really cool as well. This train painting, it actually protrudes from the wall 3D style. See how it just pops out there? This place is also famous for something called Swamp Gravy. Not sure what that exactly is. Come on, you know you wanna try some Swamp Gravy. What in the heck is Swamp Gravy? Shh, don't tell anyone. We're gonna make a million dollars off this Swamp Gravy. They even have a yearly event celebrating that. You ever see the movie, The Stuff, the old horror film? That's what I think of. Swamp gravy is the new version of the stuff. Seriously, what in the heck is swamp gravy? I wanna know. If I had to give you my favorite type of downtown area, these would be the ones I like the most. They remind me out of something of the Dukes of Hazard or even Stranger Things. Very cool. Even the alleys are all painted up. Now I don't think it's supposed to be, but this woman up here looks a lot like old school Sally Field. Places in the heart throwback. Little Fido has fallen in the water and Uncle Timmy's trying to save him. But before that happens, Sally over here is beating the living snot out of a defenseless alligator who means nothing more than just hanging out in the swamp. What did that gator do to you? Beating the living tar out of that thing. The other side of that silo shows a farmer picking pecans and that is something they do quite often around here. In fact, this old service station buys pecans. People just show up in their vehicles, drop them off, and they give them a couple bucks. But what do they do with the purchased pecans? Do they make swamp gravy? I'm telling you, it's just like the stuff. That's a cotton field right there, a big one. I'm not 100% sure on when cotton is harvested, I figured by now, this time of the year, there wouldn't be any planted. That shows you how much I know about farming and picking cotton and planting cotton. Lots of it there. This is Donaldsonville. Quaint little town. Really cool old water tower up there. That's the historic Donaldson police station that little teeny tiny vestibule. One thing I like about old architecture are these clear, you know, foggy looking bricks they used to use way back in the day. I like seeing buildings that still have those. You know, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. But some horses have a little bit of a drinking problem. I'm talking about Mr. Ed. He's got a drive through package place right here. Mr. Ed, I had no idea.
by crossing this bridge, we are now entering into Sweet Home Alabama. And with that, I will say adieu. See you tomorrow. Vlog.